dry skin is a problem for many women with thyroid issues. The reason for that is the thyroid is involved in nearly every body process, but highly involved in keeping the skin hydrated and moving moisture towards the skin. Also, the liver is highly, highly involved in keeping the skin from cracking and breaking and falling apart. So we've been talking a lot about how the liver converts that T4 to T3, and it is a very important organ in terms of thyroid health. So frequently with my clients, I'll hear complaints of dry skin on the hands, the cracking between the fingertips. I'll hear about the dry skin on the back of the arms, the dry cracked heels. Oftentimes those are the most common areas that get dry and women will carry around little bottles of lotion. They'll even be putting it on as they talk to me about their dry skin. I get it. I've been there and I even go back there sometimes. Now it's normal to have dry skin when there are elements going on outside of us, like the weather. So if it's windy, if it's hot, if it's cold, everyone is going to experience some skin changes in terms of the weather. But if they are not clearing up for you and they're carrying on over time, it means it's coming from the inside. So specifically with the hands, if you're having the cracks between the fingers on the fingers, the dry skin that is highly associated with the liver. And oftentimes we will see that happen when you've got a sneaky little yeast infection in the gut. We see that happen all the time in women with thyroid disease, because that same yeast that gets into the gut and causes problems with thyroid hormone will also cause problems with the liver, which prevents that T4 from, from converting to T3. It then causes the issues on the hands. It can cause athlete's foot. It can cause that peeling of the skin on the feet, funky looking toenails. All that stuff comes from the same yeast, which usually hides out in the gut. So I like to check for that. I like to use the organic acids test because it will tell us if mold or yeast or bacteria are causing problems in your gut. And if those are causing problems, they're likely causing issues with your liver, which will cause the problems with the T4 to T3 conversion. And now we end up with skin issues. So if you want to figure out what's going on with your skin, we've got to start looking in the gut. I talk more about the organic acids test in my masterclass, which I'll drop the link below. And you can learn more about this simple urine test that I use that will tell us if you've got these things going on in your gut. And from those results, I can put together a three month protocol for you to reverse whatever comes up and to get you that super silky, smooth, hydrated skin that you've been looking for. So check out the link and I'll talk to you soon.